guys, Marie Marcel here. Welcome back to I Home Bake. Today's menu is all about the puff pastry that you usually buy when you go to the bakery. When you look at the window, like, mmm, so yum. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to make a puff pastry with raisins and uh, raisins and cream cheese filling with strawberry. Mmm, sounds yummy. Alright, guys, so follow the steps. This is so easy. It's just going to be a lot of taking in and out and kneading the dough, spreading the butter. This step is so simple, but um, it's very rewarding once you're done baking the pastry. So good. Anyway, guys, let me begin. I need to have cups of all-purpose flour. All right, guys, so that's one and a half cup. One half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of shortening, cold water. I'm going to put about one cup of cold water. Make sure your hands is nice and clean. You don't want to put too much water, guys, because we are going to add the butter. All right. So this is the right consistency that you want. Just like this. Don't overwork it too much. All right, so once you mix it like that, go ahead and put it on your baking mat and just work it. Just like that, you see? All right, guys, this is so simple, like I said. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick puff pastry dough. Some people make this differently, but I'm trying to show you mine. So I have one cup of butter here. This is one cup of butter. About one half cup of butter, guys, all right? So what you need to do, just fold it. See, fold and incorporate the butter into the dough. Sprinkle. All right. So it is always better to use room temperature of cold butter first so you can spread the dough easily. But this is gonna be flaky, guys. Don't worry about the room temperature of butter right now because we're gonna put this in the refrigerator, in and out. And so you see the butter, guys? It's mixed to the dough. So fold in half. Make sure you fold in half. And you bring this here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put this in the freezer. I'm going to put this in the freezer for about a half hour. Guys, it's so simple. Just follow the steps. Trust me, the outcome is going to be so delicious. All right, guys, so it's been half hour. Now you can leave this for 45 minutes or one hour. It's up to you. But for me, just half hour. There's our dough. Wow, beautiful. Again, sprinkle a little bit of flour, not too much. All right. Tap it. You know the purpose of tapping it so you can spread the dough easily. Look at this beautiful dough. 
you spread the butter. A little bit of sugar, just a little bit of sugar. I'm going to use golden raisins. <laughs> All right, so what you need to do, just sprinkle the raisins all over. You can do it this way, or you can do it sideways. It doesn't matter, guys. It's the same thing. So here we go. All right, make sure you close the edge. Time to roll. Okay, just like that, guys. Pinch the edge. Always start from here and spread it outward. It's simple. It's kind of passionate. Bam! Just like that. Bam! If you're happy in the kitchen, you won't feel any tiredness. So guys, if you're having fun in the kitchen, you won't feel any tiredness. Just boom, bam, bam, there you go. All right, so you wanna cut this evenly. What you need to do, here, see that? What I did here, put them together and get your cutter. Look at that, two equal parts. All right, half. So what I'm gonna do guys, I am going to spread a little bit of flour. And roll. And roll. That's beautiful, isn't it? So, guys, don't worry about it because later on I am going to put the cream cheese in the middle and the strawberry and the glaze. So, now I'm going to cover this and put it back in the freezer for about 10 minutes. So while I'm waiting for the dough, now I'm gonna show you how to cut the strawberry for our topping. In 10 minutes, bam, there you go. So, quick for this. There you go, we're gonna transfer all this pastry dough it's just beautiful like I'm going to brush this with the egg wash so crack an egg a little bit of cold water so now what I'm gonna do I am going to brush the pastry guys so how do you like that it's beautiful isn't it so now I'm going to bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit so our pastry is baking so now I'm going to show you how to make the cream cheese filling 
2 cups of powdered sugar. That is about 2 cups. One fourth cup of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla. That's about one teaspoon. It's one of my trick, guys. This is one of my trick. One tablespoon of condensed milk, cup of cream cheese, soft cream cheese. pastry could be nice and shiny add glaze to it you can you you can use any kind of glaze like um, apricot glaze orange marmalade or whatever you like so today I have orange marmalade so what I'm gonna do I'm going to cook this just like that I'm just gonna reheat this guys, reheat it. Alright guys, so glaze. Love it. Make it nice and shine. This is an orange glaze. this out seriously awesome right wow all right guys so make sure that when you take out the pastry always put it on the rack which is topping put this in the middle Alright, now it's strawberries. So all you have to do just put this on top. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I should just oops. Wrong, what is wrong with me? Not a video. Wow, I'll give this a thumbs up. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. All right, guys, wow, I am done. Wow, seriously? <laughs> you like that? Hi right, guys, before I close out, I just want to shout out to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to my father who already in heaven. Dad, I hope you are having a good time. I'm making friends out there and with the Lord. So, and to all my brothers and to all my male friends out there who are fathers, Happy Father's Day. I hope you are enjoying your weekend with your loved ones. So, um, well, well, well. This is for all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Done for today. It is tasting time. This is always my favorite part of the video because I can tell you my reviews. So beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? All right, so it's tasting time. Mm. 
Oh. Awesome. Flaky on the pastry. Do you hear that sound? Just want to show you inside. That's what you want. I did it again for you today so make this at home and if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that notification below and subscribe and always leave me a comment this is Marie Marcel at iHomebay thank you so much for always supporting my channel and until then I'll see you on the next vlog peace out <laughs>